I set out on a narrow way many years ago, hoping I would find true love along the broken road. But I got lost a time or two, wiped my brow and kept pushing through. I couldn't see how every sign pointed straight to you. Every long lost dream led me to where you are. Others who broke my heart, they were like northern stars, pointing me on my way into your loving arms. This much I know is true. That God bless the broken road that led me straight to you. Yes, it did. I think about the years I spent just passing through. I'd like to have the time I lost. But you just smile and take my hand. You've been there, you understand. It's all part of a grander plan that is coming true. Every long lost dream led me to where you are. I will now ask you if you are prepared to make these promises to each other. Yes. Okay. Mike and Amy have written their own vows for today. Mike will go first. <laughs> His are longer. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, I love you. You are my best friend. Today I give, you, I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage you, inspire you, to laugh with you, and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it's not. I promise to respect you with <laughs> I promise to respect you and with kindness, unselfishness and trust. That's right. <laughs> by your side <laughs> to recreate a wonderful life together. These things I give to you in all the days of our life. Kiss you. You might want to, but you can't. And now Amy. <laughs> Professional. It's all tight. It's all turned out. It's laminated. Would they expect anything more or less from me? No. With all my heart, I take you as my husband, acknowledging and accepting your faults and strengths as you do mine. I believe in you, the person you will grow to be, and the couple we will be together. You make me laugh, yet you make me cry. I promise to help shoulder our challenges, for there is nothing we cannot face if we stand together. You have been my best friend, my lover, and my greatest challenge, and most importantly, you are the love of my life. You make me happier than I could ever imagine, and more love than I ever thought possible. You went first. <laughs> Halfway. Mike, will you now place the ring halfway on Amy's finger and repeat after me? It's in red, right down here, <laughs> so in case you forget. Hold her hand. I give you this ring to wear with love and joy. I give you this ring to wear <laughs> Sorry. I give you this ring to wear with love and joy. No nervousness. As the ring has no end, as the ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. This ring is a symbol of our love and unity. This ring is a symbol of our love and unity. With this ring, I pledge my devotion. With this ring, I pledge my devotion. You put it on now. <laughs> Too many right, dummies. Amy, it's <laughs> it's right. <laughs> I, I have no doubt Amy will get it right. Thank you. I put it on halfway. <laughs> Amy, repeat after me. I give you this ring to wear with love and joy. I give you this ring to wear with love and joy. 
As the ring has no end. As the ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. This ring is a symbol of our love and unity. This ring is a symbol of our love and unity. With this ring, I pledge my devotion. With this ring, I pledge my devotion. A little snuggle, huh? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> okay, your first gift to each other for your wedding ceremony today has been your rings. Can you say that? Rings. Right. right. <laughs> Which will always be an outward demonstration of your vows of love and respect and a public showing of your commitment to each other. You now have what remains the most honorable title that exists between a woman and a man, the title of wife and husband. It is now my great privilege to be the first to address you with dress both of you as wife and husband and to preside over the first gift of a single red rose. The rose is considered a symbol of love and a single rose always means only one thing. It means I love you. So it is appropriate that for your first gift as hub husband and wife the gift should be a single red rose. Please provide each of you, each one of you, your first gift to each other. Mike's not the only one nervous. Mike and Amy, if there is anything you remember of this marriage ceremony, it is that it was love that brought you here today. It is only love which can make it a glorious union. And it is by love which your marriage shall always endure. Whatever the situation, Love, understanding, acceptance, and forgiveness can make everything right. Or, Michael, you can give her another red rose anytime you mess up. <laughs> <laughs> that will make it right, too. Got you, or pink. I'll take pink. Yeah. I'm going to grab this from you. May your gentle spirit resonate within each of you always. May your years fulfill the beauty of the feelings expressed here today. And may you always put these vows above the things that make life seem smaller. You are now, as your hearts have always known you to be, husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. That guy.
Makes me burn inside 